What is going on guys? Brandon over here at Geek Talk and today I have some news. Yes, it is involving Marvel and this is right after I just got done making my uh, KOTOR video. Now I'm trying to get this one done and out of the way. I gotta go get ready for work but this news I gotta report on because I was a huge, huge Game of Thrones fan. Unfortunately, I'm with the Game of Thrones let me down. So it left a sour taste in my mouth. But the actors and actresses, whatever, love them. Kit Harrington, Richard Madden, Sean Bean, Lena Headey, Nikolai Coster Waldu, and then of course, of course, Amelia Clark. And I am so pumped about seeing these GOT actors finally coming into Marvel finally get some steam behind them because I love them. I think they're phenomenal actors. I think they did an amazing job. I don't blame them one single bit about what happened in Game of Thrones. But there's no but. I love. I fucking love them. I love them. So when I see news like this, we're going to dive right into it. Amelia Clark joins Samuel L. Jackson in Marvel's Secret Invasion series on Disney+. Plus. Oscar winner Olivia Colman will co-star in the superhero show alongside Ben Mendelsohn and Kingsley ben -Adir. <sighs> Game of Thrones alum Amelia Clark is nearing a deal to join Samuel L. Jackson in the Marvel Secret Invasion series, which will deb debut on Disney Plus. Marvel is putting together a solid cast for the superhero show, which will co-star Ben Mendelsohn, Kingsley Benadire, and Oscar winner Olivia Coleman. Secret Invasion will follow up a group. Before we get going, I just want to say, star-studded cast. You can tell Marvel's not fucking around when it comes to the show. Can I say the same about the other ones? I don't know yet. WandaVision was great. Let down for me. I personally really do not like Falcon and Winter Soldier. And I'm ecstatic for Loki. So I, they, they Marvel seems to be throwing all their chips at this show. Secret, I mean, you can't have a Samuel Jackson and Amelia Clark and not. I mean, these are huge names. Uh, ben Mendelsohn, a huge name. I'm not sure who Kingsley Benadir is. Benadir sounds familiar, but I don't. I can't put a face to him. So, Secret Evasion will follow a group shape-shifting aliens who have been infiltrating Earth of years. Jackson will prize his role as Nick Fury, while Mendelssohn... Oh, shit! I know who Mendel... Yeah, I know. Okay, Ben Mendelssohn. Uh, yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. Outsider. Yeah, I know who he is. He's in Captain Marvel, that show. Okay. The Australian dude. Will turn as Talos, the Skrull general who fought off the Kree in Captain Marvel. Benadir will play the primary villain, while Coleman... And Clark's roles are being kept under the wraps for now. Variety broke the news of Clark's casting. Kyle Bradstreet will write the series of the executive produced alongside Marvel's Kevin Feige's TV unit has so scored back-to-back -back hits between WandaVision and the Falcon and Winter Soldier. WandaVision was a hit, but I'm not hearing a lot of good things about Falcon and Winter Soldier. Which wraps up its first season this coming Friday. Clark earned four Emmy nomin 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 nominations for, using, for her rousing turn as Daenerys Targaryen on HBO's Game of Thrones, and she went on to play the female lead in a solo Star Wars story. I thought she was solid. The British actress also played Sarah Connor. Never got into Terminator. I did see that one. I didn't think it was that good of a movie. And she recently starred opposite Harry Golding in Paul Fegg's rom-com Last Christmas. Didn't watch it. Clark will soon be seen opposite Jack Hudson in the long-delayed crime thriller Above Suspicion. Let's check that out. I didn't watch Game of Thrones, so I haven't seen the full content extent of a, what the fuck. Hold on, I didn't watch it. If you, if you have not watched Game of Thrones, I'm gonna tell you: be prepared for the biggest letdown in, in TV show history. That's the bottom line. Just be prepared. But don't take that away from you enjoying at least season one through six. At least. People have their critiques, you know, after six. Starting with six, really. But watch them. It's a great show. It's a phenomenal show. It's the reason it was... The, it's the reason why it's the example... It was the example of what a show should be and could be. Game of Thrones was phenomenal. So if you have not watched it, please, on your next days off, rent them, do whatever you got to do watch them because it is a phenomenal tv show i didn't want or read the books but george r. r martin probably never finished the last one i didn't watch game of thrones so i haven't seen the full extent of what clark can do as an actress but her work in solo and terminator left me fairly underwhelmed here's hoping she fares better in the mcu and the bradstreet gives her a three-dimensional character to play alongside her talented co-stars 
Now, this is a personal opinion. I can respect, you know, feeling like her performances in Solo and Terminator were a little lackluster. But if I'm going to tell you one thing, I would say don't underestimate Amelia Clark. She is a very great and established actress, in my opinion. And this is good news. I wish she would be uh, hopping on the DC Aquaman. We're not going to go there. Yeah, I'm glad she's in Marvel. Great actress. Really seems like a sweet person. Good person. You know, and I'm happy to see her finally getting really some success following Solo and Game of Thrones. So this is good for her. Uh, it'll be interesting. I don't know if there's, let's see if there's any speculations out there saying, sorry, I know you hear my keyboard. Uh, roll in Marvel. Let's do this. Let's do this. Uh, Comic book. Let's see if they got any uh, ideas. Varric. Many have assumed the queen. Oh, sorry. Many have assumed the queen Varric would have some sort of role playing in Secret Invasion, especially given her relationship in the comic storyline of the same name, a princess of the Scroll Empire who has briefly exiled due to her religious beliefs. Where'd I go? And became the architect behind the actual secret invasion. This casting might seem a little on the nose, given Clark's Game of Thrones tenure as Daenerys. Target. Dude, I don't give a shit. They got Kit Harrington playing the Black Knight and the Internals. I mean, you're literally the, probably the only reason he got that job was because it's an amazing swordplay he shows in Game of Thrones. He gave him a superhero who's a fucking knight, Black, Night's Watch. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> it's if that's not on the nose this definitely isn't i i i don't care uh but it's the kind of self-work casting that marvel has developed a uh, penchant for it also would be the most be as on the nose as coleman playing the role given her recent award winning turn as queen elizabeth on the crown i have not watched the crown i've heard very good things about it spider woman Oh, I, honestly, I like Daisy Ridley in that role. I thought that would be a cool, but I don't see her as Spider-Woman, especially in Secret Invasion. I mean, I guess you could. Abigail Brand, even just going outside of the major players of the Secret Invasion comic storyline, the TV series Showcase of Sword has a lot of potential of, for interest storytelling. One sword agent that fans have been particularly excited to see has been Abigail Brand, the commander of Sword, who is currently leading the team in Marvel Comics, half alien and half mutant, with the mutant ability to shoot blue Flames from her hands. Abigail's swagger and style have made her. That'd be pretty badass. I could dig it. I could dig it. Uh, yeah, there's just a couple ideas here. I could see her being like a scroll princess, whatever. I don't see Spider Man. Spider Spider Man. Spider Woman seems a little out of place for uh, Secret Invasion, in my opinion. Um, Abigail Brand sounds like definitely. I'd probably put my money on this character. I would definitely saw sword get introduced in WandaVision. Uh, the director, Dickhead, I can't remember his name. He seems to be arrested. I don't think he's going to be playing a major role in anything. So they're going to need a new, uh, what do they call it? General? Hey, where is it at? Where is it at? Where is it at? Where the hell did it go? What's the word I'm looking for? Commander of sword. I definitely see them needing, the, needing a new commander. And dude, Give me Amelia Clark. Give me Amelia Clark as the commander of S.W.O.R.D. I could dig it. But yes, I had to report on this news before I got ready for, for work. This is super exciting for me. I love Amelia Clark. I love Game of Thrones. Like I said earlier, I'm super excited to see all these guys really get the, be put in the limelight coming off of Game of Thrones. The only one I've really seen that's got some huge deals and who's been seem to be doing well is Nicolaj Costa Waldu and Richard Madden. Other than that, the whole cast kind of fell flat. Peter Dinklage, I guess, he's just an amazing actor. So, of course, he's always going to be a success. But you're younger, like you're Amelia Clarks, you're Maisie Williams, Sophie got the X Men, Kit Harrington's kind of been. Kit Harrington, I'm a little upset with. You know, like, I thought he, for me, he was my favorite character in GOT, and I really hoped he took off. But it doesn't seem like it's gotten there yet. And hopefully, Eternals helps him out playing the Black Knight. But yes, that's all I got. This is Brandon over at Geek Talk. If you like this video, please leave a like down below. Comment. Let me know what you think Amelia Clark's role is going to be in the Secret Invasion TV show on Disney+. And if you're interested in future content, please subscribe. 
Holy shit, that might have been my best outro yet. Like always, guys, love yourself, love everybody. Deuces. <laughs>